Carpe Seuss. Had a good hunt last evening, but unfortunately it ended on a sad note. Was hunting at Elk Springs Ranch. Here I'm set up in the camping area overlooking this tank. Most of the action takes place there at 160 yards, and then along the dam at about 80 yards to 60 yards. Here's another view of the dam. Here we see a white-tailed deer, one of the many animals they have at Elk Springs Ranch. It's walking around taking notice of its surroundings. And it looks over in the distance, it's hearing something. And after the deer moved over the dam, this red deer bull came crashing out of the woods. He was wet all over, I don't know if it was sweat or if he'd been in the water, but he seems very agitated running around. He comes charging back down the dam and the deer comes out and stops him in his tracks. The bull turns sideways showing his broadside. The deer turns sideways showing her broadside. He looks at her, doesn't want any part of it, and he takes off for the hills. As the bull runs away, I'm thinking to myself, wow, that was really cool. Minutes later, I heard another crashing noise as an owl came through the canopy of the woods and landed here on the tree. And there he is. I sat there and watched him for a while. This is in the exact opposite direction of where the deer and the bull were. He continued watching as the scimitar oryx came walking in. He actually only passed within about 20 yards of the truck. These uh, became extinct in the wild back in 2000 and through conservation efforts were reintroduced into the wild in 2016 and are now just listed as being critically endangered. A little bit after the oryx, I saw these guys come in. At first I thought it was a group of raccoons because they were so small. Of course they turned out to be shoats. Now here I'm using my IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight to make this recording. And as we watch, more and more of them seem to be coming in off the hillside. And what I'm waiting for is for their sow to follow them in. Oftentimes sows will send in younger individuals, such as piglets or even shoats, to scan out an area first before the sow makes entry. Now the total time of this observation until I finally shoot it's going to be about five and a half to six minutes. And the longer I watch, the more that come out of the woods. Unbeknownst to me at the time, this is the last one to come out. And he's playing catch up with the other pigs. However, as they continue to advance, I'm continually doing my scans and I'm checking back to see if there's a sow following them. Hoping for the sow or sows in order to make my shot. I continue to wait as the pigs progress, hoping that the sow will come out. Now here I'm shooting 6.5 Grindel with Horn of the SST 123 grain ammo and a Surefire Genesis suppressor. And this is all mounted on top of a Reaper grip on a slick AMT tripod from Third Coast Thermal. At this point the pigs are getting pretty close. One last check for the sow. No sow is coming. So now it's just a matter of lining up my shot. Here we go. And with the second shot, the recorder died. You always hear how tough hogs are. Well, a little shoat weighing less than 31 pounds is absolutely no match for a shot to the top of the head that then explodes out of the back of the head, dropping it in place. Carpe Seuss, my friends. This is the DVR used in last night's hunt. It has been in service for the last two years. It's been on four different rifles, both 308 caliber and 6.5 Grindel. It has been on literally hundreds of hunts, and last night it finally failed. 
It does not activate with the remote activation switch, nor with the side switch. No lights come on, no response whatsoever. It is dead.